known by the names Aroma Patrick. I am a legal professional, a human rights activist, a community mobilizer and a community developer. I am a founder and executive director of Chamkoke Grassroots Initiative for Development Limited. Today, I want to talk about the creation of fake rebels groups and criminal gangsters to criminalize opposition. I, this article, I have written an article to that effect. It is based on the recent killings in Masaka district. Out of the killings in Masaka district, we have seen the arrest, the prosecution, and the persecution of two honorable members of parliament, Honorable Mohammed Segirinya and Alan Sewanyana. What Ugandans must know is that these arrests are not new. Before or after every election, it has been the characteristic behavior of the NRM regime to arrest opposition members. For example, Dr. Kiza Besige was arrested in 2005 and charged with 22 others. Dr. Besige was arrested for treason, concealment of treason and rape and charged. He was actually charged with treason, concealment of treason and rape. Alongside with his brother. Leave alone that. After 2016 election, Honorable Michael Kabizi Guruka, the former Nakawa member of parliament, was arrested and charged in court martial, the army court, that he was plotting to kill the president. Leave alone that. During Dr. Olaro Tunu's tenure, he faced charges of uh, sectarianism in the courts. And then in 2015, Dan the year, the UPC mobilizer was also arrested, charged with treason and subverting government activities. So the creation, the recent happenings in Massacre and the arrest of Honorable Mohammed and uh, Alan are not new this has been the trend which is very unfortunate because in multi-party democracy or multi-party environment we expect the nrm government to behave to accept the legalities of opposition Accepting the legalities of opposition means respect of freedoms, of liberties, of each and every Ugandan, and the right to organize. And also, the government should adhere to the East African Community Treaty and Commonwealth of Nations. They have the democratic standards. We, I think it is high time we should really press our government to adhere to those standards. Subjecting opposition to terrorism charges, treason charges, after being in power for, twin, for over 36 years, 35 years, 36 years you are in power and you are still doing the same thing. Can you imagine ever since NRM came into power, they have fought or created over 25 imaginary rebel groups. Hmm? Over 25 imaginary rebel groups created by the government. Just persecuting innocent people for the sake of wanting to stay in power? No. 
we have gone through it. Personally, I'm speaking from experience. But today is not to talk about my personal experience of how the NRM or how President Museveni's government persecuted me. Thoroughly, thoroughly, they persecuted me consistently, aggressively, without mercy, but I'm still alive. I just thank God. It's not my day today. I'm talking on behalf 